I'm Bleeding Critic. Here's the spoiler free review for The Rental. I avoided the trailer, so I'm pleased with this movie, The Rental, I didn't see any spoilers. I watched it knowing nothing about it. Now, just a movie title or poster can give me an idea what to expect. However, in this case, this film wasn't anything I expected. The start isn't anything special, and at first I wasn't keen on the casting. You see, I didn't believe the on-screen chemistry with the two couples. But I kept watching. The story gradually took a hold of me, and I really got into it. This movie is a very slow burn, focusing on the characters, and it works. The majority of this ride is a thriller, and when the horror kicks in, it feels like an extension, an add-on. It's not a smooth plot development. For example, the brilliant and disturbing original Wolf Creek is like a beautiful documentary for the first 40 minutes and when it takes a hairpin turn down that very nasty spiral it's a huge slap in the face and it works so well I obviously didn't expect the same with the rental but when any horror film changes lanes it's got to be special and believable with this movie the rental the moments of horror needed to be far more brutal Brutality with the right sound effect would have made the violence more shocking, more realistic. To understand my point here, after you see The Rental, watch the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre and listen carefully to the sound when we see Leatherface for the first time. The Rental has a few bad scene it before ideas that just don't fit. And the way the should-be terrifying moments are, they're just not executed well at all. The camera positions and direction isn't memorable, but there's two really good creative plot ideas, which make up for the negatives. The end title sequence is great, and I like the strong atmospheric music throughout. On my horror scale, the rental is a good effort, only because I really like the two plot ideas. There are a couple of moments where I just wasn't feeling that horror vibe. But to be fair, when it was over, I let the film sit with me for a bit and I've got to admit, the gradual tension definitely kept me interested. And the fact the ride was not what I anticipated made it worth my time. Now here's the trailer for my interactive website. This is William Friedkin. Don't panic. If your screen starts to bleed, you are about to witness bleeding critic. I'm the anonymous horror film critic, the creator and narrator of immersive scary stories. BleedingCritic.com is the interactive horror platform where horror fans have a voice and are actually seen. Horror Memories, this is where you talk about that moment from any film that really damaged you. And there's more interaction for you with Horror Therapy. Share that moment from your real life where something scared or terrified you. I like short horror films, especially ones that don't get the attention they deserve. So if you've made a short horror film, send it to me. I'll even add a special filmed introduction. You can watch the short horror films I've chosen right now. On to my horror content. Scary Stories UK is my YouTube channel, so all my YouTube videos are here as well. And they will freeze your spine. Check out my interviews and photo galleries, and watch my spoiler-free film reviews. And when you see any of the films I've reviewed, you can add your own rating. Follow me across social media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Scary Stories UK. Follow and interact with me on Twitter, at Bleeding Critic, and on Instagram. Do a bit of retail therapy with clown merch. There's five designs of my face splattered over 50 different products. And Patreon is a way you can support my interactive horror platform and my YouTube channel from as little as $5 a month. 
during the time you've watched this video, I've scuttled along your ear canal into your skull and I ain't leaving.